talk about him. He he looked excellent. What what you see from him in there? Um, it was um, she was hard to say bad thing, but I guess I could say a little good and a little bad. I'm not sure if his if his work rate went down because um I watched him, I studied him before, but for some reason I feel like he threw more like pity pat punches and had a higher work rate. But I would say this fight, he looked strong. Like even physically he looked a little stronger, but like his punches looked like they were doing damage. But still razor sharp angles, everything were He's still on top of his game. What did you? What impressed you the most, though? Because you know we see him against Tiafimo. He started um, slow. This fight was different. He he kind of came fast and he really brought the pressure. Do you think he learned from the last fight? Um, yeah, I wouldn't so much say he learned because you know he had what four hundred, basically four hundred amateur fights, and you know he's a champion and fought a bunch of big fights already. I would say. Pretty much, um, he he just needed to get his get back, you know, to show he was still Lomachenko, you know, and people, you know, doubting him, saying he making excuses, this and that, that and this. He had to go and dominate, and pretty much he was competing with uh, with Tiafimo in this fight too, because Tiafimo went the distance. You know, uh, I wouldn't say struggle, but you know, didn't just didn't just run through this guy. This, uh, so that was probably on Lomachenko's mind where he's like, hey, I got to go out, set the tone from the first beginning. And, you know, if I'm gunning for the stoppage, but if I don't, I want everybody to know that I dominated him more than Lomachenko did. I mean, more than Lopez did. So I think that was what it was. He was setting the tone from the first beginning where, you know, like, and, you know, early on in his career when he when he lost, uh, what, his second fight, you know, he, he tried to get that rematch. But uh, and that fight was still super close, you know. Uh, he came on the end of that fight, but uh, this is pretty much the first time he lost since he's been established, you know. So, you know, fighters got a lot of pride, and when you lose and stuff, especially them, they didn't like each other, they were going back and forth the whole time. So now it's like a revenge tour, and this guy was kind of just a casualty of, of him and Lomachenko, him and Lopez's beat, you know. So he had to go in and get him up out of there, and just instead of fighting like the Lomachenko who uses he who just calculates everything and then doesn't want to get hit. He still didn't get hit this fight, but he wasn't, he wasn't just calculate or took his time to figure him out. He just went in guns blazing this fight and we get him out of there because, you know, he had revenge on his mind. He's competing with, with Lopez with this fight and trying to get the rematch. Like, look, I, I beat him better than you beat him. And you didn't want supposed to be a knockout artist, but I knocked him out. You didn't. And so, you know, he's competing on all levels. I got some um, post-fight opinions of this of the Lomachenko fight, you know, and uh, I did an interview, you know, with um, Chris Robinson, Hustle Boss earlier, saying that there's no, for me, there was no threat in that fight. And yes, he, he you know, his opponent did really well against Tian Fimo in, the, in their fight. And, you know, we're so used to not seeing, not, we're so used to seeing Tian Fimo get his way 100%. That it felt like, oh man, like this guy might get him a chicken problems, and I was, and my opinion was, I don't feel like he gave either either fighters much problem, and so this fight coming in with Lomachenko, I was like, well, it's not, I don't feel like he's gonna give it, give him any any problems. This is a this was the perfect fight for Lomachenko to show the boxing world I'm still here. It was a perfect fight. It was a perfect fight to introduce. His his wish for a rematch with Tiofimo before Tiofimo goes to 140, it was it was the perfect okay. night yeah. for for Lomachenko, and you know it was exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It was exactly what I thought it was gonna be. You know Lomachenko used those, he went back to using his angles. I, I I got worried in the first two rounds because I felt like Lomachenko was was starting slow. And I was like oh here we go again. You know it's a it's a it's a Loma Teofimo, you know, repeat. Oh, I was wrong. He, it was just the first round. After me after, you know, third round, third round to the knockout round, he was saying Loma Chico to me, he's back. He showed that he's back. It, he showed like nothing nothing was a factor. Not even his, his, his surgery 
right shoulder was a factor. If 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 it's factual that they gonna have a rematch, hopefully later this year, I'm looking forward to it. I am not sure who who will win the rematch. I gotta see how Teofimo Teofimo looks in his fight, you know, in August. But I'm looking forward to the rematch and I'm glad to see Loma Chica was able to come back and be Loma again. And you know what I mean? He he was impressive. He was impre he was impressive. He looked strong in there. He don't look as fast as, as he did a couple years ago. But that could be he, he's anyway a guy who's five eleven with a you know seventy two inch reach. Maybe that's why. But he looked good and it was a, it was a good fight. I'm very happy to see Loma is back. So I'm looking forward to the rematch. Let's go. One more team for two. I think he looked great, man. He he straight from the get go from the first round he came in. Uh, throwing, putting the pressure on and using combinations and, and doing all his angles and, and lateral movements. So I think he looked great on, on his comeback uh, fight. What? Um, were you surprised he's a little more aggressive um, this fight? He made a statement. Did you just, did you sense that he was really trying to make a statement in this fight? Definitely. He's trying to get that Teofimo rematch and he knew that he had to make a statement. If he didn't win by stoppage, by knockout or, or TKO, it was going to be a lot more. If, if he left it way too close of a fight, it would, he probably wouldn't have gotten the, the the Lopez rematch. Now that he got the knockout and the TKO against somebody that Teofimo didn't do the greatest against, uh, who he had trouble with, um, I think he might get the, the rematch now. And even Teofimo's dad said it himself that they're looking at that rematch depending how he came out after this fight. So I, I think it's a big possibility. Mm -hmm.